Shalom, shalom, brothers, sisters of the nation of Israel, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. I'm Brother Ananias, by AOI, the Awakening of Israel. And I just want to say shalom to you, you know. Shalom, peace, greetings, you know. Good morning. It's an honor, it's a privilege to be able to speak to you today. You know, just to give you a little uh, AM motivation to get you moving. To refocus your mind. To understand what's at hand and what's going on. <clears throat> you know? But before we get started, like always, got to give all honor, glory, and praise to the Most High God of Israel. Through the strength and guidance of His Son, Christ, the Black Messiah. And as always, you know, we got to acknowledge the Father. Why? Because without his strength, without his wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding, we wouldn't be here today. You know? So every chance I get, every morning I wake up, I got to send up praise to the Most High God of Israel. And that's what I'm going to do. And I advise you to do the same. You know? But, like I said, it's a little AM motivation to get you, more, get you moving, get you motivated the right way. Get your spirit up and moving about, regardless of what the day may bring you know that's one of the things uh that the scriptures tell us or instruct us that we gotta be cheerful take whatever is brought our way we gotta take it cheerfully you know whether it be good or bad a good reference or a good uh example of what i'm talking about will come in the book of job the book of job which is a brother one of our forefathers that you can read about who basically went through it all you know and the things that we go through here in Babylon or America as you know it today or in this time and era that we go through basically light afflictions you know we all have our struggles but they light compared to what Job went through you know it was a brother who had it all you know had the money had the family, had the wealth, you know, and he was keeping the commandments. A righteous brother who the Lord said was perfect and hated evil, you know? That's what we got to be doing in these last days. We got to be loving to be righteous or striving to be righteous and hating evil. What's righteousness? Keeping God's commandments. That's righteousness only for the children of Israel. We need to be striving day in and day out to be righteous, keeping these commandments. So that we can leave behind a legacy. So that we can live a life full of promise. You know? So that our lives will be good for good success, prospering. You know? And I ain't just talking about monetary gain as well. Or even. You know, the brother Joe, whether you know it or not, he had everything, you know, he was well known, respected, he had money, he had a family that loved him, you know, he had wealth, uh, animals, big house, whatever you want to call, but most importantly, he had a meek spirit, a humble spirit about himself, where he was going to do any and everything to serve the Lord you know but in that serving the Lord the Lord said if you in uh, Sirach chapter 2 the Lord said if you come to serve me prepare your soul to be tempted understand that so this was one of the temptations that Job had to endure he went to serve the Lord he'd been serving the Lord all his life therefore he prospered you know, and the Lord had a, the Lord, God had a hedge around him, basically protecting him, because that's the commandment. The Lord said, you do what I tell you to do, I'll protect you. He protect them who love him. I'm paraphrasing. But, you know, the Lord said he's going to watch out for those who keep his commandment. Shall no evil uh, overtake them. When you keeping the commandments, you ain't got nothing to worry about. The Lord gonna fight for you. And that's why we striving so hard each and every day 
to teach our brothers and sisters to keep the commandments. Because when we as a people start keeping the commandment, the Lord is fighting for us as a nation. Not for individually, but for us as a nation. In the book of Job is a story about a brother who was righteous by keeping the commandments. And he had to endure from being changed from a high state to a lower state. And he had to take it cheerfully. And that's one of the attributes that I'm striving to, uh, to live my life like. Because the brother lost everything. Throughout that story, you'll learn that he was uh, tempted by Satan, Lucifer, the devil, the serpent. Because he was trying to get Job to curse the Most High God. You know? By killing his family. Taking his wealth. Uh, smiting him with the botch. Or with the uh, sickness. Boils from head to toe. You know? He came from with his wife. He came through his friends. Trying to get Job to turn against the Most High God. But when you read that story, you'll understand, yeah, Job was going through it. But one of the main things that he stated as soon as it happened was, I got to, especially he's talking to his wife, he said, I got to be able to take the good with the bad. If he waking us up in the morning, if he made a good life for us thus far, we waking up healthy every day. We got to take the good along with the bad, you know? And that's what life is about. You're going to have good days, bad days. But if you're keeping these commandments, you're going to have more good than bad. You know? And a lot of folks will look at that and say, ah, oh, man, so that's all we living life for? Well, brother, what the hell are you living life for now? Huh? We live in life to serve the Most High God. You out there living your life to serve your damn enemy. Huh? You out there living your life trying to get a buck and a couple coins from your enemy. So you can constantly get that money right back to him to pay the bills. You're simple as hell. But, back to what I'm talking about. The brother Joe, he realized because he was rooted, he was grounded, he was scripted in the scriptures. That was the foundation he was raised on. And that's why we striving each and every day to teach our brothers and sisters to go back and keep the commandments and read so that you will be blessed. Because you'll read and find out that you, you as a parent are supposed to be teaching your children and your brothers and sisters on a daily basis about keeping the commandments. And that is how the brother Job was raised. Because he came up living by the commandments. Therefore, he attained everything that a man could so would ever want in life. I put it that way. He obtained everything that a man would want in life. But at this particular time, he was tried, tempted, to see if he would be able to apply the commandments, the word that he'd been reading all his life. Would he be able to apply and use it? Would he be able to overcome? Would he stay grounded? Would he be moved? You know? A test of faith. A test of the showing of, you know, what the scriptures tell you to study to show yourself approved. You're being tested. You're studying to be tested. So that you can teach. So that you can apply. So that you can live by the word of the Most High God. That's why Moses said, that's why Christ said, man is not going to live by bread alone, by, by, but by every word that floweth out of the mouth of the living God or the most high God, you know? That's how you're going to be tempted. That's how you're going to succeed by applying what you've been studying, you know? It's just like going to school. Teacher come in there with a new uh, mathematical concept for you to learn or to teach the class. And she'll give you a couple weeks or he'll give you a couple weeks to learn it. Do a couple homework assignments. Then ultimately, at the end of them two weeks, three weeks, however long it takes, you will be tested to see, do you know what you're talking about? 
Do you understand what's at stake? What's at hand? Have you been paying attention? Have you been comprehending <clears throat> what you've been reading or taking notes on? Can you apply it to your life? And it's no different when it comes to the scriptures. And that is the exact situation that transpired when dealing with the brother Job. You know? Because the brother had faith. He believed on the Most High. And he, he was openly rewarded for his works. And we reading about him and we talking about him today. Thousands of years later. But... It remains to be said that uh, the brother stayed diligent, basically. When you read the book of Job, you'll find out a lot of deep parables, understandings, teachings, a lot of mystery about all different things in life. It's a heavy book. You got to be really rooted in the scriptures to understand it. But the first... <clears throat> Two books, two chapters, I put it that way. Very clear to understand. Anybody can damn near pick it up and read it. But don't just read through it like you reading a damn uh, nursery rhyme. Read it slow. Break it down as you read through the first two chapters to get a clear-cut understanding as to what's going on. You know? But nonetheless, the brother Joe went through some heavy adversity tragedy his kids were killed his wealth was taken away from him. his uh his health you know everybody turned their back on him was trying to get him to curse the most high you know but the brother stayed strong Just kept pushing yeah he doubted himself he wanted to know what did he do to deserve what he was getting at the time. A lot of us have had that mindset as well. Man, I've been striving to do this and do that. Why this happen? Sometimes things happen just to prove you, just to see, are you going to apply the things that happen to you? Are you going to apply your knowledge, your wisdom and discernment that you've been studying on? How are you gonna handle yourself? Things happen that way just to teach you, just to prove you. And if you're not ready, it'll take you out sometime. You know? If you're not ready, it'll take you out. Whether it be out of this truth, out of your household, out of your family, out of your relationships, out of just life period. Some folks get to the point where they depress. Now, most of us, uh, when we look at a situation that Joe went through, and they don't want to live life no more. We'll be ready, depressed to the point, ready to give up. But here you have a brother who raised his kids, taught his kids. He was keeping the commandments, so obviously he was teaching them to do so. But he raised them, had them from youth up till they were adults. They had their own house. You know, wake up one day and they gone. All of them at one time. It ain't a week apart or years apart. No, nah, they all gone at one time. Them kids, he spent years after years uh, raising, pouring into, looking out for, protecting. Gone. Just like that. A lot of our brothers and sisters uh, be so depressed, they be ready to take their own life. But the Lord speaks against that, and Job knew that. soon as that happened, Job got down on his knees and he was like, it must be my time to go. But regardless, I'm going to take it cheerfully. Why? Because he read that in the scriptures. He was rooted in that. He was raised on that. Knowing what's at stake, knowing what's at hand, knowing who was in control of all things. He knew that. You know, a lot of us these days, we so, uh, westernized or modernized or just conditioned by the ways of this world that we'll overlook the fact that the most high God is in control 
and we'll go with the enemy's sayings or topics or categories to describe certain situations. Like I was saying earlier, depression or uh, let me see, uh, different diseases or uh, the levels of storms and uh, floods and tsunamis and uh, earthquakes. You know, they'll list it and say, uh, that was a F5 or F4 tornado or F3 tornado. We'll let you know when you need to get under or get in the ground or whatever, or get to safety. We'll let you know. Once again, letting you or leaving you to depend on them for information rather than trusting in the most I got. When you see the, the weather getting bad, why you not on your knees praying to the most high? For him to remove that, you know? To do away with that if it be his will. Why you uh, all caught up in the news like they gonna tell you the truth? How many times have we been watching the news and they tell us it's gonna snow, everybody raid the grocery store and don't nothing happen? Or it's supposed to be raining all day, every day for the next week or two and don't nothing happen. It's sunny every day. And everybody looking with a distraught face. Well, I don't know what to say. Weather man lied. You're putting your trust in your enemy. You know? But back to what I'm talking about. The brother Job had faith. He had an understanding. He was rooted on a solid foundation on that rock the commandments so the brother he didn't never curse the Lord he didn't never turn his back on the Lord he had some questions for the Lord you know we should all have questions but he understood what was going on he understood that the Lord is in control All they had to do was stay the course. And at the end of that story, what do you think happened? Through all his, uh, what do you call it? Mental conditioning. Because you, you got to know that that was uh, something that was giving him a hard time. He was depressed or having some uh, wicked thoughts in his mind or confusing thoughts trying to figure out what the hell was going on. You know that had to be working on the brother. That's all I'm trying to say. It was working on. But, but throughout that time period, the brother regained his strength. He stayed diligent. He stayed believing, having faith in the Most High God. Pushing forward. Even though he lost everything, he still took it cheerfully. That's what the scriptures tell you. When you change to a lower state, take it cheerfully so that you will be increased at thy last end. And what happened at the end of the, Job, the book of Job? When you read it and you get to the end, you'll find out what? That he got back everything that he lost times 10. Think about that. He was increased at his last end. You know? Not that he forgot about what happened or the kids or the family or everything that he lost before, but because he stayed true, stayed loyal, stayed grounded in the truth and the commandments, having faith put, plus putting in works toward the most high, he was increased at his last end. That's what we all need to be striving to do day in and day out, regardless of our light afflictions struggling to pay bills, struggling to keep a job, struggling to keep a relationship, struggling to deal with the kids. You know, those things are light afflictions when you look at the brother Job. And that's the whole reason why that book is even in the scriptures, to show you real adversity, real tragedy. You know? How to deal with it, how to push forward, how to endure. That's the message of the Bible. To repent, to stay grounded, to endure. Knowing that you're going, if you uh, 
keep the commandments and have the faith in Christ, our big brother, that you're going to be rewarded at the end. Christ is going to uh, raise you up first. You know, don't raise you up. Raise the dead first. If, you know, it lasts that long. This world we living in. He might crack this guy today. <laughs> and I'm happy if he do. You know? But, nonetheless, I'm going to continue just like the, my other brothers uh, in AOI and the brothers on the corner else, elsewhere throughout the world pushing this truth. The brother and ancestors living it, pushing it, enduring for the Lord's sake. You know? Much love to you. Much respect to you. Keep doing what you're doing. Continue to build yourself. Continue to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Keep pushing forward. You know? Because us trying to strive to survive in this kingdom is foolish. We shouldn't be trying to survive to pay bills. We shouldn't be grinding every day to pay bills. That ain't what life is about. You know? You're a royal seed that got lost. You grew up in the wrong areas. But you're finally realizing who you are and what's required of you. Now you're trying to find your way back home. And in order to do that, you're going to have to endure the journey. Because in order to get to that destination, you got to take the journey. And it's the journey that's going to be remembered. It was the journey that Job went through that makes his story that much more powerful. You know? So stay the course. Stay focused, my brothers. Build each other up. Push forward. Endure for the Lord. Endure for the elect. Endure for the kingdom. Because it's at hand. And on that note, I'm Brother Ananias for AOI, the Awakening of Israel. Stay motivated. Keep pushing. And I love you. And I'm out. Shalom. Thank <laughs> you.